So now hopefully you should see the flexibility of having a language data inside of their own variables uh, because now I can have the requested language change based uh, on the other variables or other factors than just the Zen locale detection. So what I have here is check whether the user has selected any language themselves. If they did, it would be in a session and therefore the requested language would be whatever the user has selected. Then that language is passed into the locale and into the Zen translate. If the user didn't make any selection, then it is the browser's language that gets picked. In both cases, if the requested language is not available in our translations, we will use the default one. So at the end of the day, the set local method of Zen Translate will get the correct language, whether it's user selected or browser detected. But now that I have set these additional controllers in action, of course I have to update my ACL so that the user has the permissions to go to them in my default models library ICL uh, all I'm doing is creating a resource for library language switch which inherits from the parent library and I am letting anyone to switch the language. So I'm going to set the permission to guests. Now I can switch between the languages Oh how silly of me here, it's help or not help Okay, so I uh, switch to the English and now I can switch to Russian and I can do that despite my preferred language setting in the preferences. So even though I have English up top, I'm still able to view the page in Russian and vice versa. If I have page in Russian, I can still view it in English if I choose to. And if I choose a language that I don't have at all, it's still going to display it in English thanks to our check for valid languages. Now, to be able to use other Zen local aware functions such as date or currency or number, uh, we are going to have to let Zen Framework somehow know about the existence of Zen local in other files besides the bootstrap. Uh, again, many ways to do that. I'm going to go with the simplest one of Zen Registry, like I did many times before. So all I'm doing is setting to Zen Locale inside of the Locale variable of Zen Session. So this way I can call the Locale currently set anytime I need at any part of the application. For example, I am going to display a number in both Russian and English formats as I need. So I'm just going to create a dummy variable in the books controller. It's just going to be a number. So of course I'm going to set it inside of the view. Now at this point you have um, an argument 
whether to do the formatting in the in the view file or in the controller file. Some may argue that formatting is not a part of the process and so it is okay to put the formatting PHP code in the list file, in the template file. But some may argue that even formatting the variable is also extra PHP code so it has no place in the template file that shouldn't have any PHP. Uh, I'm going to go with the latter one and I'm going to format the variable uh, just before it is being transferred to the view. I don't want to have extra PHP code in my template. Uh, it looks too messy that way for me. So I'm going to preformat the number in the controller. Now I chose the intermediate step. I'm not formatting the number in the module, for example. So if this number variable uh, comes from a database, you're going to make sure that it comes out of your model in the raw format and then use the controller whose objective to link the model and the view in the first place to do the formatting as the variable is assigned from the model into the view. So for example, if I have a database output with some kind of number, say doesn't matter where that's coming from. So, so I think this is an output from the model and I'm going to let the controller assign this number to the view. So originally I would just do it like this but with a Zend locale I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to use one of the locale aware functions called Zend locale format and of course you are going to use anything like date or current scene in this place. I'm just going to format a simple number. And in my parameters array I am stating the precision. Just how many decimal points I want. And now I'm specifying the locale that I should use and I'm going to use the locale that is set in my registry. So now I just need to echo out the variable in my view script. So now I have the number in the English American format and if I switch to Russian, I will have the number in the Russian style with the th space as a thousand separator and the decimal as a comma instead of the dot as it would be in the English format. So that should give you an idea of how you can let the framework to choose the languages both for the translation and the local automatically.